Hello and welcome back and yes as the title suggests there are two new WD Red hard drives for the NAS market. A 16 TB and an 18 TB. That is two new bigger 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 hard drives from the guys at Western Digital. Now it's worth highlighting straight away that these aren't available right now. In fact this isn't even one of them. This is a 14 TB that I utilize in a backup system but I'm using it there mainly so we can point at something throughout the video and hopefully I won't knock it with my elbow. But um, today I want to talk about these two drives, what they bring to the pie, who they're for, and are they worth your money? We Today I'm going to talk about these two drives, but a few things we should mention straight off the bat. One, we don't actually have a full confirmed price, but looking at the logic of the rest of the family from WD, we think maybe the 16TB is going to arrive somewhere around that 540, 550 pounds mark, and that 18TB you know, well going over the line somewhere between six and 650. The reason being that a lot of these drives when they come out, they're kind of, you take the price of, you know, 50% of it. So a 2TB to a 4TB, generally it's like 0.9, uh, 1.9 of the price and then 1.9 of every duplicate afterwards. But in short, yes, we think the 16TB is going to arrive at around about that 540, mark and the 18TB somewhere between six. Uh, 600 and 650 but we should know very very soon maybe before the end of this recording and i've put it on the screen next thing let's get it straight out of the way these are cmr conventional magnetic recording drives they're all part of the pro series so again there's no drive managed smr here and it is fully detailed on the data sheets as you know that's what we want right um, on top of that these drives arrive with 512 megabytes of cache working on a 7200 rpm drive now with that you have got nasware you've got all of the anti-vibration stuff you've got all of the um uh, secure array type stuff all running there in the background on these drives and as they're pro that means they are suitable for the larger arrays we are talking yes you know your larger 8 10 12 16 and 24 tb rack mount systems now we're seeing a lot of uh, zfs being thrown around not just from the guys at qnap but other companies as well we're really jumping on to the kind of now affordable ZFS bandwagon and WD have started listing support of ZFS platforms on their tiered st uh, on their storage systems and then in conjunction with a number of their SSDs all working together. Uh, the drives have got a 300 TB per year workload on them, which is what we'd expect from this uh, 600K uh, load cycles. Again, exactly what we want from a drive like this. One million MTBF for all of that particular variables var um, effect on storage media these days and that's really it about this drive it's very very comparable to all the wd red pro series drive we've known before they're going to be a little bit noisier they're going to be a little bit more clicks and words but that's what you get from an enterprise grade drive they're just designed a little bit more rugged overall and you know they have gone with the pro first but what i think is quite strange is we haven't seen a 16 or 18 tb listing for the standard class red we've not seen that what we've seen is just the Pro Series and the standard class going up to 14. Now that could mean one of two things. One, that they've concentrated on the Pro Series release as we've seen WD Gold and WD Purple already make the move into these larger capacities, either detailed uh, publicly or on the horizon. And it might be simply be a case of this uh, new technology, this new means of maintaining the rigidity of those drives while still increasing the capacity is being something that goes to enterprise first and then gets filtered to home later or and i hope this is wrong or this is a case of with regards to storage media that the larger capacities end up being only available to enterprise we're seeing an increasing trend from a number of storage providers where a kind of artificial tiering system seems to be eking in to portfolios where certain features are being kind of only um, conveyed to enterprise level grades and seemingly removed from tiers where they always existed. Now, I'm not saying that's what's happening with WD and I hope it really isn't the case, but it's a growing trend amongst these storage companies to start creating artificial tiers in their portfolios. And I hope that we see the uh, 16 and 18 TB drives filtering into the non-pro series. I know it's difficult, given that the to maintain that speed and maintain that security you kind of need to 
only have one kind of drive really one kind of architecture that gives you that much and therefore the line between pro and non-pro would be remarkably thin indeed but still nevertheless i hope we do see a non-pro variant of the 16 and 18 tb drives now we're hearing these are going to arrive hopefully before the end of the year, seemingly in the next month or so, but who knows with factors like COVID and um, its effect on the supply chain, who's to say right now. But if you want to find out more about this with more updated information beyond this video, then do go to the links in the description to both Span.com and of course Nas Compares. Otherwise, click like if you've enjoyed this video, click subscribe to learn more, and I will see you next time.